The Giants win the pennant. Game 7 of the 2012 NLCS. The 2012 Giants postseason was nothing short of whirlwind. A fight till the end mentality helped win a record setting six elimination games. Down 2 to 0 to the Reds just a series before, they rallied back to win 3 2. Now, down 3 to 1 to the Cardinals, the Giants have fought back to force game 7 at home in San Francisco. Win or go home situation, the Giants put Matt Kane on the bump. Finishing the year with a 16 win, 5 loss record, a 2.75 ERA, becoming an all star and finishing 6th in the Cy Young voting, he earned the right to start. He would face Kyle Loss of the Cardinals, who won the duel in game 3 with a score of 3 to 1. With the weather report calling for nonstop rain, people were cautious and ticket prices began to drop. I'm here with my mom, who was lucky enough to be at that game. How did you guys get tickets to this very important baseball game? I think because I had um, purchased tickets online, I was on a list, and I got an email to enter a lottery, and I just lucked out and uh, won the lottery, and I could only buy two tickets. And I got them. I think they were like $150 each, which isn't a tiny amount of money. But um, I had, I thought maybe I would sell them to make money. But then um, just being a Giants fan and knowing that it was, you know, they had a good chance to make it to the World Series. Uh, we, Your dad and I decided to go. Unfortunately, we didn't have a ticket for you. You were six years old at the time. What would you say the environment was like and how would you compare it to more of a regular season game? Any post-season October baseball is really exciting and um, everyone is just out of their minds <laughs> from the first pitch to the last so um that night especially with the rain I mean the rain was crazy because the the game wasn't very you know intense because we were winning by a lot uh it was a shutout and but the rain you would think in a shutout that and it starts to rain you would think people would want to leave but not a soul in that place left they just ate up every minute. Besides the rain, do you have a memory from a certain moment of that day or game that stands out to you? Um, besides the rain, well, it's kind of rain-related, but everyone, I think, there will remember Scudero, uh, Marco Scudero, you know, with his hands out to his sides, you know, I think he fell to his knees. Um, I think at that time there was two outs, one out to go. And they were bringing out Sergio Romo to finish it off. So I guess besides the rain and Scudero, and then when they finally won, those were my best three memories of the night. Um where were you guys seated and did you have any cover from the rain and cold there? So with the lottery, um, it just gave you the best available at the time when you picked. So we were in the upper part of the stadium, um, in the, as in the corner of left field, like as corner as you could get, but it was every kind, every seat in that park is a pretty good seat. And, um, it was, you know, there wasn't a bad seat that night, obviously, but um, no coverage from the rain. We were soaking wet. I did have an umbrella, but <laughs> um, but the seats were the seats were great. I, you know, it's one of my best sports memories. Finally, with the rain pouring down and forty-five thousand fans cheering. 
Sergio Romo ended the game. The Giants would then go on to sweep the Detroit Tigers with four wins and zero losses.